Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers chapter 7. And it came to pass on the day that Moses had fully set up the tabernacle, Exodus 40, and had anointed it and sanctified it, and all the instruments thereof, both the altar and the, all the vessels thereof, and had anointed them and sanctified them, that the princes of Israel, heads of the houses of their fathers, who were the princes of the tribes, and were over them that were numbered, offered. And they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered wagons. Did you know they had covered wagons in the Bible? Twelve oxen, a wagon for two of the princes, for each one an ox. And they brought them before the tabernacle. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take it of them that they may be to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation and thou shalt give them to the unto the Levites to every man according to his service and Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them unto the Levites two wagons and four oxen he gave unto the sons of Gershon according to their service and we read the services in previous chapters. And four wagons and eight oxen he gave unto the sons of Merari. They had more of a burden. According to their service, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of, the, the son of Aaron, the priest. But unto Kohath he gave none. Because the service of the sanctuary belongeth unto them was that they should bear upon their shoulders. Let's look at chapter 3, verse 31. 331. And this is, this is talking about uh, Kohath. And their charge shall be the ark, the table, the candlestick, and the altars, and the vessels of the sanctuary. Everything that had staves was to go on the shoulders of Merari. Now we know David knew the Old Testament. He knew for every stolen lamb or sheep you're to pay for. But he kind of forgot Numbers chapter 7 since it's a long boring chapter. That when it came to the covered wagons, there was no place for the ark. And when Uzzah touches that ark, because the ox stumbled, Numbers chapter 7, there was no place for that ark to be resting there. If it had staves, it went on the shoulders of the Kohites. Dark, no wheels for them. And the priests offered, and by the way, they got the best of the offerings too, and the tithe. And the princes offered for their dedicating the altar, that's the brazen altar, in the day that it was anointed, even the princes offered their offering before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince on his day, for the dedicating the altar. And he that offered his offering the first day was Nashon, the son of Amidah, of the tribe of Judah. 
Now, you can, when you read your Bible and you get the 12 tribes of Israel mentioned, they're not always mentioned in the same rank, the same order. Now, why Judah was the first one to show up here with their offering, and yet out of Judah comes Jesus Christ. His offering was one silver charger. The weight thereof was 130 shekels. One silver bowl of 70 shekels. After this shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them were full of fine flour. Mingled with oil. For a meat offering. One spoon of 10 shekels of gold. Full of incense. One, in, one young bullet. One ram. One lamb of the first year. For a burnt offering. One kid of the goats. For a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings. Two oxen. Five rams. Five he goats. Five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Nashon. The son of Benadab. On the second day. Nathiel the son of Zoar. Prince of Issachar did offer. He offered. For his offering one silver charger. The weight. Whereof was 130 shekels. One silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. One spoon of gold of 10 shekels full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. For a sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five eagles, five lambs of the first year. With that, this is the offering of Nathaniel, the son of Zoar. Man that shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. This is a hard chapter to read. I mean, you think, people say, this is the, it's the same thing 12, 13 different times. On the third day, Elab, Elab. The son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulun, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of the full, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year of a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. For a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elibab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizur, the son of Shedar, prince of the children of Reuben, did all. Now he's the firstborn. He should have been the first one showing up. His offering was one silver charger of the weight. Uh-oh. Oh, we got to change the words here. The weight of. So if you think this chapter is the same thing, it's not. 100, 130 shekels. One silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense. God thought it was important, he wrote it down. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace, off, peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elzir, the son of Shedar. On the fifth day, it's in this interesting. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. There's 12 days of giving. 12 tribes. You imagine the kids sitting down on Christmas morning when they're getting the same thing. Oh, every box they open, it's the same thing. Uh -huh. On the fifth day, Shemiel, the Son of Zerdusha die, prince of the children of Simeon did offer. He's the next born. 
His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof. So Reuben says the weight of. Here we get the weight whereof. <laughs> was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spool, ten shekels, full of insects. One young bullet, one ram. One lamb of the first year for a burn offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs the first year. This was the offering of Shimeel, the son of Zadars. Sometimes I feel sorry for the mothers that they call these children. I know my mother had to scream my name all through my childhood. On the sixth day, El Sabah, the son of Deuel, prince of the children of Gad, offered. His offering is one silver charger of the weight of 130 shekels, a silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. And all these gifts that we're reading about also are taken away when, when Nebuchadnezzar comes into Judah and destroys Jerusalem. Because these bowls, these spoons are used in the tabernacle for service. So when Ezra and Nehemiah head off from Babylon, you guarantee there's 12 golden spoons there. You can't have 11. Number 7 says there's 12. One golden spoon of 10 shekels full of incense. That incense will go to that altar. Of one, one young bullet, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. Animal rights activists would not love these pages. For a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first, first year. This was the offering of Elisphab, the son of Deuel. On the seventh day, Ishma, the son of Emahed, prince of the children of Ephraim, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. So God had a, a defined measurement that was set by the priests. And when Jesus comes to the temple and knocks everything over, they've got weights and standards that are not according to the Bible. Both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spool of ten shekels full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Mishima, the son of Amenadeh. On the eighth day, offered Gamiel, the son of Padazer, prince of the children of Manasseh. His offering was one silver charger of the weight of, there's a change, of the weight of. So God did put something in this chapter. And you say, oh, it's the same thing. No, I'll see if you're studying. 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense one young bullock one ram one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering one kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings two oxen five rams five he goats five lambs of the first year this was the offering of Gemiel the son of Padiezer the ninth day Abiding, the son of Gibeonai, prince of the children of Benjamin, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. 
Now, where did they get all this material? The gold, the silver. Came out of Egypt. Remember God says, I want you to spoil them. I want you to borrow. One golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense. One young bullock. One ram. One lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. For a sacrifice of peace offering. Two oxen. Five rams. Five he goats. Five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Abidan, the son of Gideoniah. On the tenth day, Elhazer, the son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. A golden spool of ten shekels full of incense. One young bullock. One ram. One lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings. Two oxen. Five rams. Five he goats. Five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elhazer, the son of Emeshaddai. On the eleventh day, Pagiel, the son of Akran. Prince of the children of Asher offered. His offer is one silver charger, the weight whereof was 130 shekels. One silver bowl is 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon, 10 shekels, full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burn offering. One kid of goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offering, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Pagiel, the son of Arpran. On the twelfth day, I hired the son of Nehina, prince of the children of Naphtali, offered. His offering, one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels. One silver bowl of seventy shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams. Five eagles, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Hira, the son of Enam. This was the dedication of the altar. What a way to dedicate that altar. Now let's see how much went on that altar. When it was anointed by the princes of the Israel, twelve chargers of silver, twelve silver bowls, twelve spoons of gold. Each charger of silver weighing 130 shekels, each bowl 70. All the silver vessels weighed 2,400 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. The golden spools were 12, full of incense, weighing 10 shekels apiece. After the shekel of the sanctuary, all the gold of the spoons was 120 shekels. Look how well God's recording this down. All right, all the oxen for the burnt offerings were 12 bullocks. The rams were 12. The lambs of the first year, 12, with their meat offerings. And the kids of the goats for sin offering, 12. All the oxen for sacrifice of the peace offerings were 20 and 4 bullocks. Rams, 60. The he goats, 60. The lambs of the first year, 60. This was the dedication of the altar after that it was anointed. Phew. And when Moses was going into the tabernacle of the congregation to speak with him, God, then he heard a voice of one speaking unto him from off the mercy seat. Well, guess who that is? That was upon the Ark of the Testimony. And from between the two cherubims. And chapter 8 will be he spake unto him. Lord willing. 
So Moses steps into the into the sanctuary. He's allowed. He's a priest, out of order. He's not the son of Aaron. He's the brother of Aaron, and yet they said there'll be a prophet likened unto Moses. And he goes into that holy place. He's Moses. Yes. And then chapter 8, we're going to see God speaking to Moses. 